What's up guys, Leaf right here, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed that little B-roll segment that I put together. And what I used to film that, if you guys probably didn't already tell by the thumbnail, is I used my Canon EOS R with this 24-105 f4 L-Series RF lens. And I'm gonna be talking to you guys about what I think of this lens. So make sure you guys stay tuned, don't go nowhere. Alright guys, welcome back. So if you're new to my channel, the kind of things you guys will see here is tips, tricks, reviews, and tutorials for the budget filmmaker slash content creator. So if that is something you're interested in, consider subscribing right now. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and get into it. And like I said earlier, we're going to be talking about this Canon 24-105 to 105 F4 L-Series RF lens. And to be honest guys, um, I've only you know been using this Canon EOS R for probably about... Uh, maybe maybe a month and a half two months at the most and this has been my favorite lens this is the lens 95% of the time I go with I have what the 35 um, f 1.8 that I'm shooting on right now this is what I usually use to do my talking heads I have the 85 millimeter 2.0 and the 50 millimeter f 1.8 and like I said to be honest this is the one that I go to 90% of the time. Like I said earlier in this video, that whole B-roll segment that you guys saw um, of me make my coffee, that was shot on this lens. Um, if you guys watched my last video of the little uh, cinematic uh, sequence I put together over there in Tempe Town Lake, all of that was shot on this lens. So this lens is an awesome lens. I, it's a, <laughs> I can't say enough good things about it. I love this lens. So real quick, I'm gonna go in and talk about the three things I like about this lens. Um, number one, uh, the build quality. It is a solid lens. Like you hold it and you can you can feel it. it's definitely a solid piece of glass. Uh, it's weather sealed, very well built. All the dials, it's locked right now, but all the dials work real well. Uh, the zoom ring is very not very nice and smooth. The focus ring, uh, the aperture ring. Well, I actually use this for my ISO, but you can use it for your aperture. But I use it for my ISO. Uh, it's a great. It's a great put together lens. You got your AF MF button right here. You also have your uh, stabilizer right here on and off button as well. So the quality of this lens is great. I mean, it is an L series lens. A lot of people say it's the kit lens. I I wouldn't say it's the the true kit lens, the true kit lens is this one. I can't see it back here. Is the 24 to 105 f4 to f7.1. So that's more of your more traditional kit lens, in my opinion. This is an L series lens, so I wouldn't say this is a, a true kit lens, but that's just my opinion, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's reason number one is the build quality is amazing. Reason number two is the constant F4 aperture. That is such a nice thing to have is those constant apertures. Like I said with the kit lens back there, it is F4 at 24 millimeters, but when you go out to 105, it goes all the way up to 7.1. This lens, 
and go all the way out to 105 and it's gonna stay at f4 so that is nice the constant aperture i love zoom lenses that have the constant aperture it's it's it helps so much especially if you're in lower light situations and you're wanting to zoom in and that aperture keeps going up and up and up it's going to mess with your low light performance so it's nice to have that constant aperture if you have to do any zoom situations in lower light situations and reason number two um, i like the overall image quality that i get out of this lens i feel like the video and pictures that i've shot with this lens are very sharp very crisp looks very high quality uh image with this lens so it's like i said it's it's one of your actually it is your cheaper um rf l series lenses you can get um i believe used you can probably get this for about eight nine hundred dollars used i think brand new it's around a thousand uh give or take um i got this um well when I traded in all my uh, GH5 equipment, uh, this is one of the lenses that I, that I traded in for that I got um, when I did that whole trade. So I think when I got it from um, MPB, it was like $8.99, I think. So uh, overall, I, I feel like that's a pretty good price for a very good lens, a very high quality lens, zoom lens. So it's very versatile. Uh, I guess you can say it's a bonus number four, the versatility. The uh, 24 to 105, that is a very versatile uh, focal range. Um, it's wide enough where you can vlog. It zooms in far enough where you can, you know, be pretty far back and still get pretty tight in on whatever your subject is that you are shooting. So that's another reason that thing that, that's another thing that I love about this lens. Now, I can't I know there's there's always negatives there's no perfect camera lens whatever you want to say there's nothing perfect about any product that you use so I guess the only thing that I would say is not great I know I know I said I love that it has the constant f4 aperture but that is also the weakness of this lens is the f4 aperture I think someone's shooting fireworks off outside Anyways, <laughs> that is one of the weaknesses is these is the f4 aperture, which is not the best in low light. I mean, it can do the job if it's not extreme low light, but it's still it's not it's not going to be your best option if you want to do any low light shooting. Now they do have other options, of course. You have your 24 to 70 that is f2.8. You have the uh, extreme wide angle, the 15 to 35 f2.8, um, both from what I've heard, never use them, um, are great options, but the price tag on those is 2000 plus, <laughs> and I don't have the coin to get one of those right now. Maybe one day down the road, we'll see, but as of right now, just not the case. Honestly, the F4 aperture is really the only thing I can think of that I um, don't extremely love. Like I said, it's a love-hate. I love that it has the concept F4 aperture, but I don't love it when it's a lower light situation. So it is what it is. And I guess the only other negative I could say is 24 is a good wide enough. Um, I do wish it was a little bit wider. I wish I could get, you know, more of the I'm hoping one day I can get that 15 to 35 so I can have that extreme wide angle. But as of right now, the 24 um, is definitely good enough as of for right now. So anyways, that is what my thoughts on this lens. And like I said, this is basically my every day whenever I use it, walking around lens I use 95% of the time. So I can't say enough good things about this thing. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I hope you guys found it useful. Hope you guys liked it. If you're not subscribed, like I always say, please hit that subscribe button. If there's anything you guys want to see, like I always say, leave a comment, let me know. Again, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, and we'll see you guys at the next video. You have a good one.